NHD Production Live here with filmmaker Igor Dracha of The Fuse. Can you tell me a bit about your mixed media project? Um, it's an alternative documentary and uh, it's basically about the, I used home video footage in combination with um, archive footage that I found uh, in Bosnia and it's sort of a story about a boy who uh, thinks he was responsible for the civil war in Bosnia. So it's sort of like a, an homage to sort of my childhood. Okay. And you're very close to the project. Was it emotional making it? Um, yeah. I mean like the everything that sort of went into making it took about three years I'd say. So I there are points where I just like did not want to continue or wanted to completely focus on something else. And uh, because it deals with like sort of sensitive childhood themes, you know, being forced from one's homeland, etc. Uh, but I added elements of sort of playfulness to it. And while it's inspired by a true event, it's not, you know, it doesn't play out the way it actually took place. Um, so I, I, I was allowed to be sort of playful and organic with, with the project in a way that I haven't been able to do with other projects because this, this sort of uh, was my first attempt at making something other than a fiction film. And how did you find condensing three years into nine minutes? Was that a difficult, very difficult process? Um, what do you mean by three years in nine minutes? Because you said you were working on it for three years, right? Yeah, off and on. Off and so on. So it was okay. off and on. I mean, I was like completing my master's degree. Okay. So that kind of took a lot of my time. Mm -hmm. So there was like sections of it that kind of didn't, uh, where I didn't spend full time on it. I just sort of focused on other things. And because I approached it, uh, at first I approached it by wanting to do a lot of, where should I be looking? Should I be looking? Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> I don't know where I should be looking. So. Um, since I approached it first as like a mixed uh, medium project where I wanted to use a lot of film, combine it with video, and then I realized that that wasn't authentic for the project because everything was on, on video and digibeta and umatic tapes. Um, so I basically appropriated a more authentic way of approaching the project, which took some time. And, uh, and then sort of this is what came about. And when is your film screening and where can we buy the tickets for it? I am not sure where you can buy the tickets for it. I guess the box office or online. Uh, I'm not sure where the box office is. I think it's at the TIFF Light Box. Um, and it's playing September 11th, 845 at the TIFF Light Box. And Cinema can you tell 3. me a little bit about your current film projects coming up? Um, Right now I'm working on, a, on one, another, another short film and I'm also working on a, a feature film, my first feature film. So it's currently in post-production. Um, I'm trying to like fi finish the sound and the mix. So hopefully by next year we'll have, it'll be done. And it's basically about a man um, that's, now, that's now in Toronto but was involved in the Bosnian Civil War. So it sort of deals with like themes of immigration, themes of uh, isolation, themes of trauma, uh, war trauma especially. Sort of these universal elements that a lot of people in Toronto can sort of relate to, a lot of refugees. And do you have a website where we can look out for future projects? Um, yes, uh, www.igordrdeca.com, so that's w like my first and last name, okay. .com. Yeah. Okay, great. Thank you so much, Igor, and I wish you the best of luck this year at TIFF. Thanks a lot. I'm Katie Allman reporting for TTN HD Production Live.